Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for SPEC review day 4. Today, in this video, I will be going over problems 25 and 27. Number 25. Let's read it. Below is a table that shows the relationship between the number of bags of popcorn sold, which is P, and also how much money is earned, which is T. So here I can see P, so if I sold two bags of popcorn, I earn $3. If I sold four bags of popcorn, I earn $6. Six bags earns me $9. Okay, so it asks me to complete the table. And so the first thing I can do is, what is the relationship to go from two to three? Right? Two times what is gonna get me to three, four times what is gonna get me to six, six times what is gonna get me to nine. Now this might seem tricky at first, because it's like, ooh, I, I don't think I can multiply anything to 2 to get to 3. Well, actually, you can. And then if you need to, you can use a calculator. I could do 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5. 3, right, what I'm doing is I'm doing 3 divided by 2. I'm going the opposite way. 3 divided by 2, and that gets me 1.5. All right, let's double check. 2 times 1.5 is equal to 3. That works. That would mean 4 times 1.5 should equal 6. Let's check. 4 times 1.5 equals 6. Good. And 6 times 1.5 equals 9. Okay, so now I know the relationship is However many bags I'm selling, I'm multiplying that times 1.5 to earn, to see how much I earned. So that means that this, 8 times 1.5, 8 times 1.5 is 12. So 12, $12 is how much I earn if I sell 8 bags. So now it says to write an equation for the money earned, which is T, based on P, the number of bags sold. So I know my equation, it says write an equation for T, so T is equal to something. The amount of money that you earned is equal to, and then I think to myself, well, what, how did I get each of these numbers? I multiplied whatever was here times 1.5, and whatever is here is the variable P. Right? These are all, P is the number of bags, so it's 1.5 times however many bags I sold, which was P. T is equal to 1.5 times P, which is the number of bags you sell. That's your answer. Other possible ways you could have written this, you could have written T is equal to 1.5 P, that's correct, or T is equal to, you might have even said like P times 1.5, that's correct too. Any of those ways works. Okay, last one, number 27. Use the graph to write an equation showing the relationship between the number of weeks, which is W, and the total number of dollars saved, which is T. Okay, so I'm comparing weeks and dollars saved. I wanna look at the graph. What is the relationship between W and T? Well, when W is two, when after two weeks, you save $12, right? After four weeks, you save 24. After six weeks, you save 36. So I think to myself, what is the relationship between two to 12, and then four to 24, and then six to 36? What's happening? Well, it's 2 times 6 gets me to 12. 4 times 6 gets me to 24. 6 times 6 gets me to 36. So whatever the number of weeks is, which is W, that's being multiplied by 6. And that is what is getting me to my total dollars saved, which is S. So the total dollars saved is S. It's equal to whatever the weeks is times 6. 
You could have also written this as s is equal to 6w. That works. Or s is equal to 6 times w. All of these answers are correct. Last one. Use the equation you wrote to determine how much total money will be saved after 12, after 20 weeks. Well, if I know that the amount that I save is equal to the number of weeks times 6, well then the amount that I save is equal to, if it's 20 weeks, that's the number of weeks. So 20 times 6. 20 times 6 is, well, 2 times 6 is 12. Add the 0, 120. $120. There's my answer.